Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs, and we're awaiting our special guest, Jeff. <music> Jeff is arriving a little bit later this afternoon. We don't have really anything planned aside from he and Mike are doing some wedding suit shopping at some point in the next few days. He'll probably stay here with us because he needs to see Ash. I need to yell at Froster because he's digging a hole. And <laughs> we have Stitch Fix to try on. So obviously my last box didn't go so well. I wanted to try another stylist and give another go because I have the unlimited membership. It's like $50 a year. So instead of having to pay $20 every time you do a styling, it's just $50 for the year. And they send you a box. You can return everything if you want. There's no fee past the $50 a year. So. I have chosen to do that because I order enough boxes. So I decided to go ahead and order another box trying to get special items because I can tell you guys this now. I leave for Florida on Wednesday for my bachelorette party with Brittany. So I was hoping to get some cute items for that and both times I gave them a prompt of, hey, I'm going to Florida for my bachelorette party. I want cute shirts for Florida. Like we're not doing like a rager party or anything. It's just Brittany and I. I would like some cute items for Florida and Betsy didn't cut it, but I have to say, I think Betsy did a better job than the new girl, Lauren. I think she saw Florida and she's like, florals! But the materials are like office shirts. One of them I really do not like in the box. Two, I'm okay with. And the other two are, for me, work shirts. They don't seem like casual going out shirts whatsoever. But it all kind of works out because I was anticipating Florida to be warm and it looks like it's going to be cold while I'm there. So wouldn't have been able to wear any of this anyway because I got spring items. I'm gonna be in sweaters. So <laughs> oh well, let's do our Stitch Fix haul but I need to go yell at Foster because he's in this hole right now. Look at him. He and Colby were digging at that last night while we were gone. We were watching them on the cameras and couldn't get them distracted. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, I'm in trouble. Hi. What were you doing? Were you trying to eat something in that hole? What were you doing? Oh, okay, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble, you're a good boy, yes. You know how to lay on the cuteness, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you do. I am cute, don't be mad. So before we try anything on, I am having my brunch which is my everything bagel truffle, and I'm gonna put some of my Chalk Zero blurry syrup on this one, and then I've got two pieces of corned beef boar's head. That's my lunch. And Jeff is on his way, flight's arriving in about an hour, but I am not cheating this weekend, so whatever we do, I have to stay good because bachelor party leader this week, so. Yes, this is my brunch. So this is the first shirt from the box, which means it's obviously my least favorite. I do think it looks better on than I thought it would, but I just do not like this print whatsoever. I don't think this is my jam. <laughs> it's just not something I would ever pick off the rack for myself. This is a definite no, but I will say at least it fits better than I was expecting it to. So here is the first of the shirts that I think are more of like work tops because I just don't dress in this style of shirt on my days off. And I don't know that I love the pattern on it. I like it, I like the colors, but I knew pretty much as soon as I took it out of the box I wasn't gonna like these sleeves. I don't like sleeves that are this short on me because they just make my arms look bigger. They hit me in a bad spot. I like clothes that complement my body type. I'm all for body positivity and loving the body that you have but I like clothes that accentuate my features rather than just being like, I'm gonna wear whatever I want and doesn't matter. Teach their own, but I feel most comfortable when I am complimenting my body type. So sadly, these sleeves I know would bother me and so this one is a no from me. But it is actually cute. The colors do complement my skin tone well and my hair. If the sleeves were a little longer, I probably would have kept it. So this is the second of the work tops and Here's my hesitation taking it out of the box. It has one of those bubble bottoms. I don't know what you actually call it, but a bubble hem where it's elastic right here and so it makes it fold over. It's actually a high-low, so it is lower in the back, which I do appreciate. I'm gonna have to try it on with my work pants to see 
how I feel about this hemline. It actually fits really well. And I actually really like the color on me. I think they've been desperately trying to give me a green shirt. <laughs> because I have yet to buy one and they keep sending me green florals. And I actually do like this one. I like the sleeves. Ignore the open closet door. Obviously I had to open the closet to get my pants out. But as suspected, I just think it needs, like I want it a little lower on me. And I know I'm going to be pulling it down all day. Because it wants to go up even higher because it's got the elastic. And... Uh, I'm sad about it. I'm still torn about it. I'm gonna go show Mike and see what he thinks. This is what I do to myself. I'm like, but I like this part. And then I don't ever wear it because this part makes me uncomfortable, so I just never choose to wear it. Okay, so now we're back into casual shirts. I'm obviously not wearing this one to work. So we still have a bit of the bra strap issue, but I do have a racer back bra that could go through here, which is less distracting than having the strap here. And it does make a cute neckline on me. I love these little details right here. The thing I'm not sold on is the pattern. I don't love this floral. This is not a floral that I am partial to. <laughs> Lauren's mistake was doubling down on all florals because I feel like if she'd given me some more options that weren't all florals, we might have been okay. But I don't like her floral pattern choices. Here's the last shirt. First of all, feedback from Mike. He agreed with me on the green one that the bubble hem is just no bueno. He disagreed with me on the previous shirt. He actually really liked it. However, I just know that I won't pick that pattern out of the closet. So overruling him on that one. And now I am bummed because here's a floral pattern I actually like. I really like the colors on this one. And then the dang sleeve. What are these sleeves? What What is this? Like just slightly longer than sleeveless. I know they're cap sleeves. I get that. But it's like a... A weird cap sleeve, a rectangle cap sleeve. I like the little v-neck. If the sleeves were longer, I probably would have kept this as a casual day at work shirt because I still, you know, I still don't wear my actual casual clothes to work. <laughs> I don't wear a t-shirt to work on casual day. So I still have to look a little professional as just jeans. But yeah, I won't pick these sleeves out because I don't like feeling like I cut my sleeves off. So this is the one I'm bummed about. This is my favorite in the box. The back is just plain material, which I like. It was a complete bust for Stitch Fix. When was the last time that happened? It was a long, long time ago, guys. So, sad face, all getting returned, and new stylist next time for sure. And I do want to touch on the fact that one of my goals for 2020 is not spending too much money and not just buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff. So I'm also being extra picky with Stitch Fix now because I don't want to end up with just a bunch of shirts that I don't end up wearing. I will say that when I cleaned out my closet, I only got rid of like one or two Stitch Fix shirts. And they were shirts that I went ahead and got because if I got the whole box, I got the discount. Otherwise, the majority of my favorite clothes are from Stitch Fix. So I still love the service. I'll still continue to use it. I just need to find another Catherine. Catherine, why did you leave me? So Mike left to pick up Jeff from the airport and I went to Walgreens to pick up our prints because I finally ordered prints of our engagement pictures. I've been holding off because I wasn't sure what pictures we were going to use for our invitations. As it turns out, I'm not going to use pictures for the invitations. I did, however, use pretty much all of our pictures for a guest book. So I've picked out my favorites and we are going to display some of our engagement pictures at the wedding. So for now, they're going to live in our living room in the frames that I've had in the fireplace. It's time to change those out for some new pictures. So I will show you once it's done. So there we go. There's our new fireplace decor slash will come to the wedding with us. I love these frames with it. The brown and the white just really complement it. So I might switch the crazy pattern frames for some similar ones to that. But these are definitely some of our favorites of the bunch. And they look so cute. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Hey, Colby. God. Dogs. Colby. Hey, you were so like naughty. Oh, Lord. Hey, Colby. Oh, yeah. Just wipe them off, Ash. Wipe them off or for wipe me. Wipe them off. <laughs> <laughs> what was he? An ACAT? Oh, God. I'm so scared to go further than this. Look what we saw when we came in. Oh, I'm so scared to go further. I Why is this you. an everyday thing? Come here, bear. Come here, bear. Let me murder you. Look, guess who's all getting baths? 
Guess who's most definitely getting a bath? For the third weekend in a row, everybody gets baths. You're gonna be so excited. I was yelling and you guys didn't listen. You too, you're naughty too, sir. Sir. No, no. And you're the one, and you're the one that's a pain in the ass to get in the tub. Nah. <laughs> you get the first bath. Hey, what a good boy. Because mom hates you right now. Bear, you're coming. <laughs> no. Oh my god, his belly. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, I've got it on video. You're good. Bear. <laughs> good grief. Yeah, Ash. That's your future too. Just so you know. That's your future. The worst part was that we were on our way to dinner and we were watching them running the back fence and we kept trying to yell at them through the cameras and Ash was the only dog we could get because Colby and Foster were barking so loud at each other that they couldn't hear us. So it was the torture of knowing exactly what was happening. We just didn't know the extent of it. Oh my God, these dogs. All right, we have two clean dogs. One left was naked and he's running away. Oh God, no, not me, not me. Buster, we're oh. just gonna save the water. Oh good, Bean, come right up. You want some face to lick? Foster. <laughs> oh no, it's oh God, face. it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh no, it's a trap. Why? <laughs> he's so happy right now. Why me? We have emerged. Jeff is here, you probably saw him in the clips with the dirty dogs last night, but I didn't actually introduce him. He's here. <laughs> and now we're off to do some suit shopping for these guys for the wedding. I think I'm more excited about it than they are. Mike's pretty excited. He just won't say it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. All right. I'm here for more wallflowers. The guys went to the Tesla store. They didn't want to be part of this. So it is Sunday evening now. We just got back home from their parents' house. We had dinner over there. We did find their suits. So Mike and Jeff both have their suits for the wedding. Well, they, they will once they pick them up from being tailored. But suits acquired. Dinner was delicious over at the parents' house. And now it's time to just relax a bit because the weekend's already over. I'll show you my little wallflower haul though. I got my spring and summer smells. So we got, this one is so nice. Eucalyptus and spearmint. Sunshine and lemons for the kitchen. Limoncello also for the kitchen. Sun drenched linen for our bedroom. Tiki beach, which I'll probably use in the living room. Salt water breeze for our bedroom. And midnight blue citrus also for our living room. So that's our little haul of wallflowers for spring and summer. Good. Hello! <gasps> he spoke. So good morning everyone, it is Monday. I'm off to work, the gym, and a few other things today, so let's get this started. Okay, I did work, I did the gym, and now I'm going to get my nails done for Florida because I leave in three days, two days? Two days. Okay, so here's my nice bright nails for Florida and Mardi Gras. And now it's time to go pick up some groceries, even though I leave for Florida and don't really need any groceries. You'll see. You'll see when I do the haul. Don't mind me. Just have a little dance break in my car. Oh yeah. So here's our big haul for today. <laughs> so huge. Um, basically when you're on keto, you always need eggs in the fridge. So it's time for some eggs. I got a little bit of lunch meat for my next two days at work. Needed to replenish cream cheese for truffles. This and this is actually for a plan I have for next week's dinner. But I just went ahead and got them because that way when I get back, I can go ahead and at least have those items and these will last for a while. Yeah, they're good through March. So, oh, Mike and Jeff are home. I got some iced coffee and some creamer and some cooking spray. Now, what's well, not keto, we are having a going away party for one of my coworkers. She is retiring. So her favorite thing is to have a dip day where you just have a bunch of different dips. So I am making my Dunkaroo dip for work tomorrow. I'm gonna leave some for Jeff and Mike as well, but I'll make this later. I have to let the Cool Whip 
no longer be frozen. So I'm gonna let this go in the fridge and then you use animal cookies as the Dunkaroos. So I'll show you this later. It's delicious. It's not keto in any way, but absolutely so good. 34 ounce beer, domestic, or 550 for premiums. Monday special. This is Dunkaroo dip. Two cups of plain yogurt, half a container of Cool Whip, Whip, and a box of confetti cake mix. Literally it. You mix the three together, let it sit a little bit in the fridge, and enjoy with animal crackers. It's amazing. There is the Dungaroo dip. Let's give Jeff Jeff's seal of approval. <laughs> He's like, yes. Take it away from Mike. <laughs> Don't know what happened to Dunkaroo Dip, it's just gone. All gone. So sad. So sad. <laughs> Thumbs up? It's terrible. <laughs> Awful. Nobody should try that. <laughs> don't yep. even bother. Just don't. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> Did you bring me a squirrel? Good morning. Oh, double stretches. Very cute, very cute. So good morning everyone, it is Tuesday. My work week is almost over. Only one more day to go. I will talk to you more about that later. But now, work time. And Dunkaroo dip to work time. So I am almost done packing. It's actually going to be cold while I'm there. So I actually have boots and sweaters. I mean, Florida cold. You know, it's like going to be in the 50s. But 40s at night, which I wasn't prepared for. I was like all ready for spring. And then Florida was like, ha ha, cold front. So... Almost done though. I've got my little backpack that's pretty loosely packed. That is my super secret gift from Miu. <laughs> I always have to bring my niece something special. So yeah, just finishing packing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Mike. Happy Wednesday. I am off to work. Colby's not impressed. What are you doing? Hi mom. So it is Wednesday. I am off to work, but then tonight I fly to Florida. So woo, just gotta get through the work day and then it's bachelorette party time. Woo woo. It's Wednesday night, I'm home from work and now I'm heading off to catch a plane to go to Florida for my bachelorette weekend with Brittany. <laughs> We're doing a cold day at Universal tomorrow apparently. We're doing Mardi Gras tomorrow night we're doing some cowfish and seeing Michael on Friday and possibly some shopping and then some Jordan Kyle original crew hangouts on Friday night and then some girly time on Saturday and then I come back to Houston. It's a quick trip, but I'm very excited for it. That's it. I will see you guys again next week. Bye. <laughs>